Hey Java Asyncs, welcome back. This is week number five in our Java journey. In this video, I'd like to review midterm grades and how that's gonna work, and then give you a preview of our project. So I fell behind on posting this video. I'm one day late, and um, midterm grades are due tomorrow at 10. So unfortunately, I will be deciding those using the following algorithm instead of using the midterm proposal system um, for expedience sake. So the Community College of Allegheny County declares five possible grade values, A, B, C, D, and F. I will uh, assign A's to folks that are up to date with your weekly work form. So um, just are you reporting what you're up to? Are you active? Those are A's. So if you've done um, basically just one form and fell off the wagon a little bit, I'll put a B in. Um, if we if no work reporting, then I'll put a C in, and I don't have any D or F categories. So that's what I'll assign. If you have any questions about that, or you'd like to challenge the grade that I enter, just give me a call and we'll work that out. Next up is our project for the week. The project is called Might We Be Friends, and it's a chance for you to build a interactive tool in which you ask the user, your program, you instruct the computer to ask the user a series of questions that you use to compute a compatibility score, which at the end of the program you compare against a threshold to decide we might be friends or maybe not or absolutely not. You can uh, be as creative as you want. So I posted the link to the project summary page already on the schedule. And so that is located in the familiar place. Um, I'll close my windows, one sec, stand by. Here's homepage, here's our Java journey, session schedule, and so week five is the chunk one project, might we be friends? And this has been a popular one in person Java because students get to learn a little bit about what other people are interested in. And so I've provided you a project step to create a robust way of doing that. And I'll be encouraging you to flowchart out your logic first and then code it up and then debug it. And you can see I've got a sample program output here. So uh, this person asks, do you like hockey? And then you give the user a zero or a one choice. You scan in the integer they type and then you implement your logic. At the very end, you do your determination based on your compatibility score and give the user a, a departing greeting. So this is a chance to pull together the skills we've built so far. And as an example, uh, in addition to hockey, you can start building nested logic. So maybe uh, one of my great interests in life is plumbing. <laughs> I like plumbing. And uh, so I might ask, do you like plumbing? If they don't like plumbing, I'm actually going to take away 15 points from the compatibility score because that's going to be a clash somewhere down the line. Uh, if they do, you get 30 points. And then I will only ask question two under the condition that they answered yes to the first one. So you can start having uh, branching logic. So in the plumbing world, there's two ways you can transport potable water, CPVC, or copper. So you can move through a, uh, an arbitrarily complicated set of choices. And then you'll be adjusting your compatibility score variable that you'll make at the beginning based on those question responses. And then at the end, you'll compare it to a, a threshold value. So my plan is to do a more complete walkthrough actually flowchart this out and code it up and test it. And uh, probably in reality, I won't get to that till Thursday evening or Thursday during the day. So this is your quick overview and I encourage you to dig in this week and get caught up on things that you might be behind on by Sunday morning because we're gonna switch gears to less language fundamentals and instead how does Java organize all these statements into uh, methods or functions as they are known in other languages. So this is the week to put a bow on your first five modules and this project so you're ready to go with a fresh start on Monday. So thanks, and we'll catch you on the flip side.